stand to confess our faith using the words of the Nicene Creed. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of his Father before all worlds, God of God, light of light, very God of very God, begotten of God made, being of one substance with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us man and for our salvation came down from heaven, and was incarnate by the Holy Spirit of the Virgin Mary, and was made man, and was crucified also for us under Pontius Pilate. He suffered and was buried, and the third day he rose again according to the scriptures, and ascended into heaven, and sits at the right hand of the Father. And he will come again with glory to judge both the living and the dead, whose kingdom will have no end. And I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified, who spoke by the prophets. And I believe in one holy Christian and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins, and I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. We continue with the prayer of the church. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the promised offspring, Jesus Christ, whose death has crushed Satan's head forever, let us give thanks to the Lord. And that as God received the meager confession of our first parents for the sake of his grace, so he would forgive our sins and lead us forward in hope, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the church, her preachers, all servants who work, the generous who give and all who suffer with patience that made brothers and fellow heirs of Christ by his incarnation and suffering for our sake, we may always do the will of God and so be true and faithful members of the household of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For courage that as we believe, so we also would speak of the confidence that Christ's resurrection that we would be emboldened to confess this Christian faith from a lively conscience, and that for Christ's sake, grace may extend to more and more people for the glory of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord for our nation and its government, that as no kingdom or house divided can ever stand, God would frustrate the destructive work of Satan and unite our leaders and our people for the common good. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord that God would lead us to place our true hope in his eternal kingdom, which is not of this world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord for all who suffer in this earthly tent, we pray for Kevin, Tess, Sherry. We pray for Evan and Ilsa. We pray for members of June's family. We pray for people in areas of conflict, especially in the Middle East. We pray for those dealing with flooding and other storms of recent days. We give thanks for fathers and those who serve as fathers. For all of these, that fixing their eyes beyond the transient to things unseen, they would not lose heart. And that God in his eternal wisdom would prepare them through this slight momentary affliction for an eternal weight of glory beyond all comparison when at last we are raised with Christ and brought into his presence. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For all who commune that as Satan, was once over, as Satan once overcame our first parents through the eating of the tree's fruit, so Christ would overcome the devil among us here by the fruit of his cross, his body and blood given and shed for us for the forgiveness of our sins. Let us pray to the Lord. What was lost in paradise has been regained by the conquering wounds of your Son, crucified and raised again. In Him we are restored as your children and made bold to ask for every need. Hear us for His sake, 
and in His name, even Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. We offer our gifts to the Lord. Sing the offertory, page 159. <clears throat> taking on the form of a servant, becoming obedient unto death, even death upon a cross. Risen from the dead, he has freed us from eternal death and given us life everlasting. Therefore, with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, we laud and magnify your glorious name, evermore praising you and saying, Blessed are you, Lord of heaven and earth, for you have had mercy on those whom you created and sent your only begotten Son into our flesh to bear our sin and be our Savior. With repentant joy, we receive the salvation accomplished for us by the all-availing sacrifice of his body and his blood upon the cross. Gathered in the, remembrance, in the name and the remembrance of Jesus, we beg you, O Lord, to forgive, renew, and strengthen us with your word and spirit. Grant us faithfully to eat his body and drink his blood, as he bids us do in his own testament. Gather us together, we pray, from the ends of the earth to celebrate with all the faithful the marriage feast of the Lamb in his kingdom, which has no end. Graciously receive our prayers, deliver and preserve us. To you alone, O Father, be all glory, honor, and worship with the Son and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Our Lord. 
Lord Jesus Christ on the night in which he was betrayed took bread and when he had given thanks he broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take eat this is my body which is given for you this do in remembrance of me In the same way also after supper he took the cup and when he had given thanks he gave it to them saying drink of it all of you this cup is the new testament in my blood which is shed for you for the forgiveness of sins this do as often as you drink it in remembrance of me as often as we eat this bread and drink this cup we proclaim the lord's death until he comes Amen. 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 Jesus. O Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, in giving us your body and blood to eat and to drink, you lead us to remember and confess your holy cross and passion, your blessed death, your rest in the tomb, your resurrection from the dead, your ascension into heaven, and your coming for the final judgment. So remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen.